Hey everyone, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 34 in the Intermediate Algebra Series. So in this tutorial I'm going to do a little example here to help explain the basic percentage equation. So let's say that we have a student and he's got a bunch of questions he's got to answer. He's got a homework assignment and let's say that he's got 14 questions to answer on his homework assignment. And he's been working on it for a little bit so we'll say that he's completed seven of those questions. So we'll call him student one. And we're going to do student two as well. So here's another student. This student is working on a different assignment, and he has 35 questions for his assignment. And he's been working on his assignment for a little bit as well. So he has answered seven questions of his assignment. So what I want to ask is what percentage of each homework assignment is complete? Well, we can use the basic percentage equation to determine the answer. So we just need to figure out what our percent is, what our base is, and what our amount is, and then we'll just use some simple algebra to solve. So in our case, we're looking for the percent, so this is going to be our variable. So I'm just going to write down the variable here and here for each of these two cases. And so the question I asked was, what percent of the entire assignment is complete? So the entire assignment is equal to the total number of questions. So in our case, our base number is going to be the total number of questions in the assignment. So what percent of the assignment is complete? So it's pretty obvious, I think, that the amount is going to be the amount complete, because that fits our description. So for student one, we're going to find the percentage of 14 questions that are complete and we know that we've completed seven. For student two, we're going to find the percentage of 35 questions that are complete, and he has completed seven. So now we just simply use some basic algebra here. We're just gonna divide each side by 14. On this, this side right here, we're gonna divide each side by 14, and then 14 over 14 cancels, giving us P is equal to seven over 14 which if we plug this in on our calculator, it equals 0.5. So in this case, for student two, we divide each side by 35 so that we can isolate P by itself on one side. And 35 over 35 cancels, just giving us P. P is equal to seven over 35, and you could plug that in on, our, on your calculator as well, and that will give you the result 0.2. So shifting this decimal place two units to the right and then adding a percentage sign gives us the answer 50%. And in this case, shifting it two units to the right, it gives us, because when we shift it, we add a zero here. So shifting this two units to the right gives us 20%. So there's an example there. We use the basic percentage equation and from the basic percentage equation, we have determined that student one has completed 50% of his or her assignment, and student two has 20% of their assignment complete. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more tutorials on the Intermediate Algebra playlist. You guys have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.